Okay, y'all, I had the chance for the first time to watch the fight the way you guys saw it with the HBO commentary for those who's watching at home and weren't at the fight. And see if they had any difference on the fight whatsoever. The commentary really wasn't that bad. What you guys didn't realize is the fight was a lot closer. HBO, basically, the people who were calling the fight actually had the fight a lot closer. They saw Cotto winning the rounds in the end like I saw. So we saw the fight exactly the same way. We start seeing Cotto win rounds that you guys were giving to Canelo just cause. So, only Harold Letterman and some of you guys had it that way. But I just wanted to say something to be clear. Just because I think Cotto won the fight by a round or a draw, I'm cool with that, doesn't mean that we need to bash Canelo because I'm seeing a lot of just plain flat out Canelo bashing but this is what happens when people start getting favorable decisions because they're the star you know without him it all falls apart so Golden Boy Promotions is going to do anything they can to keep him winning but I can't, I'm not bashing Canelo at all. He did his job. He did what he was supposed to do. Can't ring, fault. And now everybody's going to sit around and wait and see what happens with the Golovkin fight. Triple G. That's the next wave. Will it be next? Nope. But <laughs> will the WBC strip him? Nope. <laughs> Are you going to give him a, a one defense before Golovkin? Yep. Will they make Golovkin come down a, a weight that he don't fight at? Or there's no fight? And that's what I don't get. He just got the middleweight championship of the world. The middleweight championship is 160 pounds. How you going to tell... the challenger who's also a champion that he has to fight you at a catch weight for the middleweight championship he should be able to come in at a weight that's near 160 pounds. If it's for the middleweight championship, but I guess they're going to play the Canelo's too small role to try to uh, drain out the Lofton and see will uh, Golovkin play ball. And fans are getting tired of this 155 thing, you know. Which I really don't care about. If they want to make 155 a division, who cares at this point? As long as you get to see the fights, right? If they're not giving you these fights and they're making up weight classes just because they can't make the weight anymore, they can't go there. I know people like Gotti and other fighters wish they'd have thought of this idea. They were like, look, we're men without divisions. There's a lot of fighters that was out of boxing just because they weren't welterweights and they couldn't make 140, 140 no more. If they could have made a 144 division, a lot of them would have been okay with that. My Vegas trip was nice. I 
I got to get into that observation ball, y'all saw. I was on there with Team Canelo. I was at the uh, one of my favorite places, the Venetian. And they didn't like my hip hop outfit at all. They thought I was too, I was trying to be a little hip hop. You know, I was like, well, let me hold on to some modern hip hop. I come in there with an American Hustler shirt on in the Venetian. They just like, don't let him walk out with any of our money. Get him out of here. I was like, oh man, I messed up. I came in there, everybody was going to the title, and every cokehead chuck chick that was up and down the strip was trying to get into the uh the towel and I guess there's some celebrities had some parties and then I saw some kid from a TV show could care less he was in the way of me getting to the tables and I should have known better came on the wrong night it was the right night wrong approach I should have came prepared so you gotta when you go to a casino you got to be dressed appropriately you have to be at the right place at the right time playing at the right table. You got to be that small fly that's making money while the whale is getting broke. Because they worry about that whale. They worry about that giant that's out there just trying to eat up everything like Pac-Man. And he's all on your numbers. So you got to run away from him because they'll pay you but they want to avoid him. So. I'm happy with winning a stack. You know, I can take that and leave. I'm cool with that. Anyway, I'm out.